not long after North Korea's test of the hydrogen bomb of justice on the 6th of January, data pouring in from around the world had shown the explosion was almost certainly not a hydrogen bomb. But how do we know this? A nuclear explosion liberates lots of energy, and as we all know, energy has to go somewhere. Some of the energy, in the form of light, x-rays and gamma rays, travels at the speed of light. But the shock waves it produces travel at the speed of sound, and we have a number of ways to detect them. Atmospheric detectors listen for infrasound, created by surface or atmospheric explosions. Hydroacoustic sensors in water listen for underwater detonations. And seismometers are the go-to sensor for underground blasts. And by using a mixture of data from any of the three, it's possible to triangulate the location of an event. So, we know where it is, and roughly how big it is, but what about what it is? The main method we have is radionuclide detection in the air, which basically consists of looking for the products of a fission or fusion explosion, but in the case of North Korea, unless gases leak from the test site, it will be difficult to tell exactly what kind of bomb it was. We do know, if they had developed a hydrogen bomb, the yield would have been significantly bigger than it was. We just have to look at the Hiroshima and North Korean fission blasts compared to the fusion Tsar bomb. Not quite on the same scale, is it? What they may have developed is a boosted fission weapon, which is a conventional fission bomb that contains small quantities of hydrogen isotopes tritium and deuterium to increase the yield, so a smaller bomb makes a bigger boom. Like if you liked it, and I forget what to do if you disliked it, but I'm sure you can think of something, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep thinking.